Locked in a warehouse-sized freezer in suburban Denver, the Earth's climate history, thousands of years trapped in gases, acids, dust, water molecules, and atoms. It doesn't hit me like some people see it. It's like, wow, this, this piece of ice is 400,000 years old. Well, to me, it's a very valuable piece of ice, and it's my job to make sure it stays that way. The priceless treasures are all stored here, the National Ice Corps Laboratory, home to 17,000 meters of ice collected from around the world, stored at negative 33 degrees Fahrenheit. This summer, the lab received an ice core drilled at the South Pole. Working in a relatively comfortable minus 11 degrees Fahrenheit, researchers cut the ice, catalog the depth, photograph it, and conduct preliminary tests. Here, a college student shoots a jolt of electricity through a piece of ice as a University of Washington researcher watches the results on a computer. Hey, we got a volcano. The electricity detects a layer of acid in the ice deposited by an eruption long ago. That is a big volcanic event that uh, occurred about 8,000 years ago. We can actually figure out how much volcanic activity there's been through time uh, to help understand how the climate system uh, has worked. Scientists also take thin slices and look at the crystals through a special light. Samples are cut and packed for shipment to other labs, including the Institute of Arctic and Alpine Research in Boulder, which constantly monitors air samples from around the world. Ice cores are a great proving ground for models that that can predict climate in the future. Bruce Vaughn says heavier oxygen molecules in the ice from ancient snowstorms indicate warmer temperatures. To get that information, Vaughn mounts the ice millimeter by millimeter. What we have is a really pretty accurate historical thermometer. It's as if we were standing on the ice sheet writing down the temperature for the last 800,000 years. Scientists continue to find new ways to study the past, including analyzing trace gases to learn about the amount of previous plant life on Earth. Bubbles that are stored in the ice are now escaping in this debubbler for the first time. Each piece of ice helping to unlock mysteries frozen in time. Peter Banda, Associated Press, Lakewood, Colorado.